Chuck's strut. Of course, uh, the interesting thing is uh, Chuck's not with us anymore. But his strut stayed with us all the time. <laughs> his strut stayed behind. He's quite right. alive, don't worry. He's quite alive. Well, I don't know. Have you seen him lately? He's quite alive. When's the last time you saw him? 42 days ago. <laughs> 42 days, that's right. So, Kim, we're going to feature Kim now on a song that, uh, well, tell us a little bit about this tune, Kim, and uh, kind of the, the background of it. Yeah, this song, uh, you may uh, recognize, it was written by Melissa Etheridge, and it is, it's based on something that happened um, at a nightclub in Florida, and uh, she wanted to express her thoughts and feelings about what happened and what she feels that we all need to be focusing on as we move forward together. I gotta tell you guys, I'm so happy to be out here with you. You're all so beautiful, you all look so great. It's so nice to be together. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, and away we go. A little song called Pulse.
Tribute, uh, some more tribute to uh, musicians in this uh, that brought in world music that started bringing drumming and, and African music and Brazilian music and Middle Eastern music and started bringing it to the attention of the American music scene. And so we all started mixing our styles and cultures together. And but Mr. Paul Simon really got the ball rolling way back in the 80s with his Graceland record which was the one last record I remember winning a Grammy before rap arrived. So uh, <laughs> whatever that might mean to you, that changed everything to uh, musicians that were around before that. But uh, this, this uh, song, Under African Skies, just one of uh, Paul Simon's most beautiful songs. And uh, here we go, a little, a little uh, double rainbow orchestra. We, we, we practice at a place called the Double Rainbow Ranch. So we call ourselves the Double Rainbow Orchestra. And uh, of course, we're all kind of all part of each other's groups here in our whole big community drums family. Anyway, here we go, a little Paul Simon music, a little whole different way of doing this. One break, we have to get in the huddle first though. Don't look. <laughs> Okay, I think we got it now. Nobody looked, did you? Usually I watch to see if you're looking. I wanted to see if you were looking back to me and see if I was looking back at you. Okay. <laughs> and the number for the night is 42. Guess the magic number and win nothing, nothing at all. Please, please digress. All right, here we go.
surprises here. We're going to get Lisa to sing an old Joni Mitchell tune, probably her most famous song that she sang. Certainly many of the songs she wrote became very famous, but uh, this is all about, uh, you know, paving paradise to make a parking lot. Really? Uh, well, okay, so I guess if they didn't do that, we wouldn't have any place to play, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll pave a few of them. We turn it into paradise.
Lisa Doble, y'all. Steve DiPato, Jim Ainsworth, the rest of us. And Greg Hansen, the master. It was your tunes, a big hand. Thank you all so much. That's our show for tonight.